then again, another thing you should look at again is this. The human capital in Nigeria is also peculiar. What do mm. I mean by the human capital in Nigeria is peculiar? The average Nigerian working artisan eh, does not have any aorta of loyalty in them. I used to have a, factory, <laughs> a water factory. I've told you this story before. Yes, that's I true. All strategies which were not in my human resource management MBA class to deal with them. Because if you deal with the average Nigerian worker, the way they have taught you to, to relate with them in your master's in business administration, human resource class, you will fail. You hmm. will fail. If, a, if an average European worker goes to work, he knows they have to clock in. He knows that if he steals and does what he's not supposed to do, he knows that the law will punish him. These things are not here. There are so many holistic factors that, that affect running a business successfully, even as a Nigerian, not to talk of an international company that doesn't even understand our culture. I'm not saying these things do not have solutions to but I'm just saying these are factors that a typical investor will look at and just shake his head and say, no, 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 no. I've well, had enough. Let me well, get out of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, you are singing to the choir. Mm. Once upon a time, I also wanted to... Well, I, I, I didn't just want to. I actually set up a business and... Uh, I invited two friends. I'm sorry, I didn't invite you. Okay. I set up I, I set up that business just barely six months before I had my injury. Right? I had my injury and I visited Nigeria in 2012, the next year. And uh, my, I set up the business and with those guys, each of us had 33% of, of the business. And uh, these guys visited me in my father's house to see me. Good. And back then I couldn't speak, okay? And uh, a few years after, I realized that uh, they have uh, taken the business, at least company, the, the register company, they have taken it over and removed me. I set up the business. I called them from London to tell them, guys, this is what I see. And I want to do this, this, this. I set it up. I set it up and then invited them to join me. But just because I had an injury, they re removed me from the business I set up. Unfortunately, but, uh, but if, our, if, if, if our legal system was okay and as, as, as efficient okay. as it is in the, in the Western world, you would have you, they would have paid out of their nose. Oh, good. So, they did. Exactly. So or they gone did, to jail. Good. So they did it. They used a uh, backhand, whatever. They just went to whoever and they, they took it over. But for me, it doesn't matter to me because they they didn't get the idea. They, they, I had the idea. I And unfortunately, I didn't share so many of the Things I wanted to do, okay, and they don't know they didn't they didn't they didn't know what to do with it, so they haven't done anything with it, and that business is dead. Okay, so what I'm saying is this, like you said, uh, we have issues with uh, loyalty and the law. Okay, we don't have see all these things we are just talking about. It's about the enabling, enabling environment 
to em do business with Nigeria. Exactly. That's it. Okay. Exactly. All these things we are just highlight highlighting exactly. is that. Okay. Now, this all the, these things are things that the government should do. It's the government job was not about owning refineries. The government job is it was it was not and it's, it's still now about owning Ajakuta uh, steel uh, complex. Okay, the government's job is to build and maintain the business environment and to allow ordinary people and investors to come in and sit on the on the platform of the of the environment created by created and maintained by the government to do business exactly and that's that's what we don't have and yeah. until until we have it we still con we continue su suffering 